Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, your Houston Realtor, and today I'll be going over the steps of how to buy your first home. I get a lot of people messaging me about how they want to buy their first home, but they have no idea where to start. It may seem a little bit scary because it's such a huge financial decision, but it doesn't have to be hard, and that's why I'm here today. I want to make sure you leave this video having a better idea of what you need to do in order to take the next step. Step. So number one is the most important part. You must prepare your finances. You can't buy something as huge as a home without being financially stable. I'm going to go over a little bit about how much you should have saved up. Just so you have an idea, you're going to want to save up for your down payment which can be as low as 3% for a conventional loan and 3.5% for a FHA loan. It could be higher depending on your loan or it could be as low as 0% down. There are tons of first-time home buyer assistance programs but they do have income caps so if you make a certain amount of money you might not be able to qualify. So talk to your realtor and see what options they can recommend. The next thing you should save up for are closing costs. They can go from 2 to 5 percent of the loan amount sometimes you could negotiate that with the seller depending on the situation but prepare to have to pay for some closing costs you're also going to want to save up for an inspection appraisal and survey they are super important because you want to learn as much about the house as possible before you purchase it each of those costs on average about five hundred dollars each so you're going to want to save fifteen hundred dollars for all of those the next thing to save up is earnest money. It's usually 1% of the sales price. Basically a good faith deposit that's held in escrow if your offer gets accepted. This money shows that you're serious and that amount will go towards your home. You also want to have emergency savings. That is so important because unexpected things happen all the time and it's very important to have that cushion money in case something happens. Number two, you're going to want to talk to a lender if you'll be getting a loan. The lender is going to look at your finances, your income, assets, debts, everything just to see how much you can afford. They're going to pre-approve you for a loan so you have a budget for when you go look at homes. This pre-approval letter is super important. You're going to submit it when you submit your offer. That way the seller can see that you have that finances and you're good to go. There are many lenders out there. Make sure to interview more than one. Your realtor can also recommend the lenders they use. I highly recommend a private mortgage broker rather than going to your local bank to get your mortgage. Number three, find a realtor. You may want to interview more than one realtor as well. Your realtor is going to be there every step of the way and you want to make sure that you get along with them and make sure they can be a really good resource for you. They should be communicative, reliable, and great at negotiating for you. They are basically like your lawyer in court. You wouldn't want to go to court without one. As a buyer, having an agent represent you is absolutely free, so hiring a good one will only benefit you. You can talk to a realtor at any time during the process, even if you're just thinking about buying. Having a realtor just so you can ask questions can be really helpful because even if you're not ready, they can give you the right steps of what you need to do in the next few months until you're actually ready. Number four, home shopping. I live in Houston and Houston is so big. There are many different neighborhoods and depending on so many different factors in your life, you may want to stay in one neighborhood over the other. Talking to a realtor, they can also guide you of where you might want to live based on your circumstances, including your work, your commute, you have kids, will you be wanting to be around the best schools, do you want to be in the city or the suburbs. On your own time, you can also go to different open houses or just visit different areas, get a feel for the shopping, the restaurants, maybe even talk to people in the areas that you want to stay in just so you can get all the information you need to make a great decision. Basically those are the first few steps that you should take when buying your first home. After you have your realtor, your pre-approval, you know what area you want to stay in, then your realtor should be a great resource for you. If you're looking to relocate to Houston, I will leave my information down low. You can contact me through Instagram or through my website. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Leave them down in the comments. Subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!